Have you ever seen that picture? Have you ever seen that picture? I don't know what this table's rated for. Have you ever seen that picture? Welcome to Save Point. We talk about video games and topics that you submit to us. My name is Hunter Taylor. My name is Ryan Shepard. And I'm Michael Anthony. Topics from Tumblr, YouTube, Twitter, hashtag Save Point. That's how you do it. We're going to talk about video game things. Someone, someone get, no, you don't get to you, you do it. Why not me? Because you did the intro. All right. <laughs> uh, this first week's question is from Anonymous. Ooh. Anonymous. This person asked Anon. Um, games. He got cut off on the Sunday. Games that you, under, that you don't understand why they're popular. Um, Kingdom Hearts. Why the hell is that game popular? Oh God, no! You're gonna have we're gonna be killed in the streets. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I didn't get the appeal of Kingdom Hearts either, unfortunately. Well, who's gonna kill me in the streets? Kingdom Hearts fans? I'd love to see Kingdom Hearts fans try to kill you. Know, me. You say that, but you're gonna be like walking home. Have you ever seen you know, some kid with, with like a key sword all blunt and just starts bludgeoning you to death? It's called the Keyblade. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts fans. Are <laughs> you ever see like the stereotype of like nerdy gamers who don't have friends who aren't sleeping with you know have have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? You mean and us? Fat. No, chill, chill. But you know like that stereotype? Yeah, think, that is Kingdom Hearts fans. I think no, there are cool Kingdom Hearts fans. Yeah, find there one. There is a there is one big appeal about it is like visiting on a Disney World. That's like the only reason why I played them, honestly. Just go to Disney World. That's not the same. Uh, all right, all right. Okay, so so what else? Um, so you'd rather play the game Kingdom Hearts than go to the place where dreams come true? I mean, <laughs> Call of Duty. After a while, I kind of it's, like, it's just like okay, this is Call of Duty again. Yeah, I guess. But then again, I mean, I get why they're popular, so I can't really say I don't get why they're popular. It's pretty straightforward. You shoot people in a competitive manner. Yeah. So yeah. that just has, I guess, constant unlimited appeal. Yeah. This is America, guys. I'm trying to think of mine. Cause like I was gonna say Call of Duty, but you jacked that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess just yeah. I'm just gonna cheat. I'll say Call of Duty because the last Call of Duty. Come I up with something else. There has to be some game you're like I don't get why people like that. Like the main one. Like because there's series that I think should have ended, but like they're still good games though, like Assassin's Creed and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but like yeah. it's a. Uh, Games that you just don't get why people like at all. Like, I don't get why you enjoyed to do that. Sports games. That's the me. Sports games Sorry. are very competitive. That's why they're fun. I, but, like, I, I, you'll never catch me dead playing Madden. I watch people play I'm like, wow. That's yeah, like the just, knitting of games. I'm, 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 I'm lazy, and I'd much rather just go play football. Just go to the beach and play with friends as opposed to watch fucking Roethlisberger throw fake <laughs> Roethlisberger, not even a real Ben Roethlisberger, a okay, digital okay, I, Ben I Roethlisberger I throw okay. play. Speaking of sports games, I'd have to say the baseball games, because the baseball games are boring as fuck. FIFA's fun. Madden's fun. Do you like baseball? I do. I'm Hispanic. Of course I like baseball. That's usually soccer, though. Don't you, like, Hispanic people use, like, soccer? No, I'm from an island. I'm from an island Hispanic. <laughs> that's, but that's like mainland, I'm that's like continental <laughs> Hispanics love FIFA. <laughs> It would I like be, baseball. Pretty much it would be Call of Duty, but he stole it. So <laughs> There's something else that, there's something else that, that's really popular, just not getting it. Um oh, there's, what certain, is it? there's certain series that what like I don't know, like Assassin's Creed is still really good, so I can't say Assassin's Creed. I don't think why Minecraft is so popular. Yep, Minecraft. I, I totally played agree. Minecraft, you, you I played Minecraft and it's fun. It gets but old. It's too much. Okay, like if you're playing a game that's that has a lot of freedom, like an open world game, that's great. But when a game drops me off in a world with absolutely no direction, that shit, I can't do it. I can't do it. And okay, like game, Skyrim? No, no, okay, like a game like Skyrim, yes, it drops you off, you can do whatever you want, but there's an arrow that you can eventually right, okay, go to. Yeah. Yeah. There is some kind of structure, you can just choose to ignore that structure. In Minecraft, there's no structure, you just do. I, I, and that can only keep you, that can only keep me busy for so long. Otherwise, it's just like, why am I doing this? I ended up quitting Minecraft because like, I just, I built like this whole town and I was building a castle and I was doing all this stuff and then I just realized I was, I felt like I was just wasting my life away building something that, like especially I was playing the 360 version, so mm -hmm. it's like only one other person can see this. It's like, <laughs> yeah. so I quit Minecraft. Alright, do you feel like we answered that question? Yeah. King of Hearts. Boo! <laughs> and then the subscribers left. Um, I'm gonna do this one. 
<clears throat> it's Gamer X again on Twitter. He's a, he loves us. He likes to give us the topics. Mm. All right, ready? If FPS games were not the top sellers, what would be? Do you want like an empirical data type thing? Well, no, but like, like uh, uh, speculation. So say like, like FPS games disappear. What fills the void of action adventure sure. games? Yeah, I was going to say that or RPGs. I don't know. Action generic. Here's the thing: is action adventure is such a broad category. It's the broadest category. That is really games. broad. <clears throat> like I'm not even sure what you mean. Like you mean like and Uncharted? Do you know what an action? Uh, Uncharted is an action adventure Max game. Payne. Max Payne. Uh, Assassin's Creed is an action adventure really? game. Really? You Depend think that would take up the bulk of the market? Yeah. Um, Grand Theft Auto is categorized by action, Guinness yeah. as an action adventure game. I don't know. I, I can see games like maybe GTA, but maybe almost I'm kind of say like maybe MMOs would. Because MMOs already have a huge audience, and it's like... Well, that, yeah, that's why I said Maybe. I, mean, I don't know, I mean... Like, that, uh, there's, there's a question... If FPS is it's top like, sellers. Yeah. MMOs wouldn't be top sellers because you'd only get one sale. Well, they have <laughs> subscriptions. Yeah, but you only get the one sale. Mm. A lot of people... Like, yeah, because you can't really annualize it. World of Warcraft subscriptions are not on NPD. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so... Fine. All right. Maybe action adventure games. I'm, I think maybe RPGs. Yeah. I don't. I don't know because RPGs don't Skyrim. cater to everyone. Western RPGs. I want to make that clear. Skyrim became like because Elder Scrolls wasn't as like it was very popular with like it got really popular with Oblivion and stuff. But even still, like the Elder Scrolls. But even still, like when Skyrim came out, like that really commercial, like that really got a lot of people into RPGs. Yeah, that that blew up. Yeah, so that like blew the up. Elder Scrolls like, went from like something that was just like, mm -hmm. oh, a cult just, following oh, to like a huge yeah. following. So I would say RPGs, honestly. <clears throat> Alright. You okay there? Yeah, um... <laughs> damn, he had pineapples. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. Probably, you know, I don't think, I, don't, I mean, I don't think like... Hardcore RPGs would be no, not the like thing, Demon's but Souls. Yeah, not, nothing like, like Game of Dark Souls. But a game like Skyrim, a game that has casual All right, so RPG. Definitely. Do you think that our FPS games will ever be like upseated? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, if we remember the '90s, platformers were like the thing. Yeah, right. That's let's, true. Have, let's have a mascot platformer. That was the thing. Right. You know what I mean? And eventually, that. So then, what changed? What comes next? Because <clears throat> I don't know that action adventure games are gonna like keep rising. Well, because a lot of them are getting a lot more cinematic, like, especially, like, um, I really feel like, I'm not just saying this because it's my favorite game, but still, like, Uncharted, I really felt like paved the way, because once you start seeing, like, really cinematic, like, destruction to environments and stuff like that, you really start seeing that in, like, Assassin's Creed Revelations that came right after, like, uh, Uncharted 2, you started seeing, like, a bunch of other games, like Prince of Persia and stuff, try and keep rebooting and trying to... No, nah, I'm not seeing up. it, man, it's gotta be multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Multiplayer's got to be the thing. But even thing. still, multiplayer, like, I hear a lot of people, like, I don't play multiplayer that often anymore. Like, a lot of people, like, around, like, 2007 to, like, 2010 or whatever, with, like, FPS is, like, Call of Duty 4, you know, that was, like, the main thing that really drew people into, like, console online gaming. So, like, for me, in my opinion, like, a lot of people stop playing multiplayer as much. Like, I play I don't know, single man. Player. Multiplayer is still pretty damn huge. Multiplayer is it's still... It's big for, like, PC gamers for consoles. No, multiplayer. definitely for consoles. The, the, the bulk... Consoles, the, I'm, I, I would be only, willing to play... Big. I'd be willing to put the life of my unborn children on the fact big. that more people play Call of Duty for its multiplayer than for its... But that's Call yeah, of Duty. Absolutely. That's a big franchise. More but people if you go, play But for, if you go on Singularity or Killzone, there are way less players. So like that's what I'm saying. Call of Duty is different because that's like the biggest game on the planet. But if you're going to other no, but the thing is, is, you also got to look at it. People pick battle. I would say people pick Battlefield, Battlefield like for multiplayer. Battlefield Call of Duty for multiplayer. I'd, be, I'd say people pick Killzone for multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, I prefer, uh, but not, because, still not, not that Killzone. Not that Killzone makes a bad story or you know a bad single player, but like. Yeah. Well, you have to Nazis. look at like okay, so you're talking about like singularity, so like those aren't games that people go to for multiplayer. So you're not going to see people doing but that. But the multiplayer, multiplayer in the much. game was really cool. Though. So when you go for multiplayer, you're going for something that's like got the biggest still, you're audience, going for the biggest audience. Yeah. Yeah, but even still, there are only <clears> certain like a couple of franchises that really get that down. Whereas for like most games that have multiplayer that is good and decent, like Uncharted's had multiplayer in their games, and people are still playing Uncharted multiplayer. But not nearly as much as everybody. It's still pretty game. niche, though. Well, it's still so, a yeah. niche thing. Like even even niche. Splinter Cell, even even Blacklist that has spies yeah. versus mercs, which is a big mode. I remember yeah. that was the first game to do asymmetric stuff. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it since the first Xbox. Even that, that's not a but big thing. But it's not that it's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you I would I mean? say like for PC players, most PC players mostly play multiplayer. Because for console, um, like 
every gamer I talk to, they're just playing like stuff on their own. Like I'd rather play GTA 5 than GTA Online. Like I don't know. It's just I think like there are certain games you play for multiplayer. I agree, but there isn't a lot of those for consoles. There are some. Mm -hmm. That's just the way I feel. But I don't know. Except for like they're actually coming out with them like uh, bigger games like The Division now that's strictly online. Yeah. So. Multiplayer, I think, is going to be whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's going to be multiplayer. Multiplayer. Yeah. That's what it's I think. Good. It's probably it'll probably be like third-person shooters. <laughs> it's what will yeah. come after first-person the, the shooters. Reason, the reason first-person shooters are so popular is because first-person shooters is like instant gratification. Right. As a human being, you can jump right in. As a human being, we are hardwired to know what a dying person looks like. That's just evolution. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So there's there's very few things other than giving you a gun that you instantly understand what's happening here. Right. You know what I mean? Right. There's no, it's not like magic where you're like, oh, what's he doing and all this stuff like that. It's like, no, I point this at you and you die. Unless, <laughs> unless you point it at me first and I die. It is like the most simple, base instinct, most baser, mm -hmm. you know, simple equation that could occur. You kill me, I kill you. What's and that's why it's so simple because it's, it's, instant, it's instant recognition. I don't want to say gratification. I don't want to say like, people like love But you know, I think that's also why game and, and MOBA games or like Dota or anything or League of Legends are, are popular because any kind of game where you can immediately pick up and play is good. You know, you yeah. don't have to worry like, oh, where did I leave off? What am I trying to do with the game? Maybe MOBAs, maybe you know? Dota is a bad example of a game you can immediately pick up and play. Well, I mean, there's a learning curve. I mean, I mean, but like once you know how to play it, then a learning mountain. Yeah, here, <laughs> pick a topic. A learning vertical wall. Yeah, it takes some time. Uh, in your opinion, oh, from what's that say? That's a serendipity xx on Tumblr. Okay. Um, in so your Sarah. that's Sarah. Hello. In your opinion, what's the best game to film adaptation? Ooh, game to mm. film adaptation. I don't know if we're talking about commercial success. Unfortunately, it's Resident Evil. But I don't think. That Wait, that you mean it's not Doom? <laughs> it's not Doom with with the Rock or the and Carl Urban, where they all they did was advertise the Rock, and she's like, he's the fucking bad guy. Carl Urban's the main character. But they think that it was like a, it was a twist. They spun it around on you. They're like, oh, the Rock's ma main character, obviously. Nope, bad Carl guy. Urban. I love. And Carl there's Urban. not demons. It's fucking like HGH that turns you into a monster. Uh, Max Payne was terrible. Uh, Assassin's Creed is still in the works. Yeah, but you know, Max Payne had Mila Kunis in it, so it's almost ridiculous. doesn't make up for Mark Wahlberg doing terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, Mark Wahlberg will actually kill you. Marky, I love Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark is a fucking thug. I know, Marky Dude, Mark's the best. I don't even know if you like can give him You're not even going to get, you're not going to get any good I think even him. he knew that movie was bad, though. I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, what was it, um... I would say uh, Lineage was pretty good, Assassin's Creed Lineage. Uh, I would say... Was that a uh, film? No. Yeah, that's like a short a, film. That was a short film that was... It was a film. No, we're going to go balls... Yeah, we're going block theaters, block theaters, In theaters. All right. Nothing uh, Ball directed. Actually, um, you know, I don't think Silent Hill was terrible. <clears throat> the first one was not bad. It was, it was The first pretty, Silent Hill was not a bad movie. The fucking thing, like, the, the lady gets her skin ripped off. Yeah. I was like, wh what? Yeah. The first Silent Hill was actually pretty good. It was kind of... It was and then it came out with the second time. Silent Hill 2. It's in 3D. I'm just gonna have to go out of limb on this one. Even though the movie wasn't that good, but it was enjoyable. It was okay. It was entertaining. What was that? Prince of Persia. <laughs> Dude, you know, I, yeah. I, I actually, I was thinking about it as a joke. Like, 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 oh yeah, it was definitely Prince of Persia with the, the most white- It wasn't like, bad, though. Like, what's with, like, the whitewashing of these movies? Okay, no, no. Prince of Persia. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, <laughs> that's about right. <laughs> well, I get it. I mean, I mean, okay, like, as an American, as, as members of an American audience, are you gonna rush out to go see a movie where O Dead Fair is leading the cast? Yeah, Do you well, even know who O Dead Fair is? I don't <laughs> need to. Exactly. He looks like the O Prince Dead of Fair is an Israeli national. He is born in Tel Aviv and he's a fantastic actor. But if he looks like the Prince of Persia, I will watch it. I don't need I don't need names for movies. Mm -hmm. Side side note: mm -hmm. O Dead Fair was in a video game adapta adaptation movie. He played Carlos in Resident Evil. There you go. I hate IMDb. The, the Resident Evil movies aren't great. No, I, they're not. They're, like, they're really bad. No, they're really bad. Uh, but and um, they're only getting worse. <laughs> Paul W. S. Anderson yeah, needs to stop. Wasn't the last one Retribution or something like that? The last one was bad. Okay, so wait, what's yeah, actually a, got, what's a good Everybody's adaption? Worse. I can't think of one that's like I saw like wow, Where's you are, you did a good job. This is this is good. Blood Rain, not a good one. Though. Ooh ball, ooh ball. 
He's such a bad director. I feel like he's like a super villain or something. They're like, he is. They're like, like, they call him up and they're like, we need you to ruin a franchise. He's like, I'm on it. <laughs> he's probably he's gonna, Cobra Commander. He's we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna make a Hulk movie where where uh, he, his dad is like a, a storm. I don't, I don't know. And <laughs> his he, dad is a storm. Okay, so wait, what's Hulk gonna fight? Uh, giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, he, that's what he was fighting. That's an Ang Lee movie. That wasn't you, Paul? No, that was an Ang Lee movie. It might as you well have been. You wouldn't know because that was a really bad Ang Lee movie. <laughs> it might as well have been you, Paul. It was, uh, he probably was trying to direct the, uh, the new Uncharted movie that they're trying to make, where Mark Wahlberg is freaking Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake and Robert De Niro's, De Niro's his dad. dad. And then they had like a freaking like other guy who was like his... I'm like, thank God that got canceled. Right. I don't know. Um, I don't know, I mean... A bunch of that. I mean, it, it depends because like... I feel like, I, I personally feel like if you try to take a video game and adapt it straight to film, it's gonna be a failure. Yeah. Actually, you know what I will say? Uh, Halo Forward Unto Dawn. The miniseries? That's not based off it. Well, it's based off Halo. It's also, it's based off no, of Halo. No, what That's I mean, an like, adaption. Like, if, if, if you, if you were to, if you were to take, like, like, here's Prince of Persia is a good example. The Prince of Persia movie shares the Sands of Time angle, mm -hmm. it shares the dagger angle, yeah. it shares the characters and the Vizier and all that shit. But it doesn't follow the story word for word. If right. you followed the first Prince of Persia story, it would just be him the entire movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Him and then occasionally mm. Jem Arterton. I'm still trying to think of my love movie. with. She's really hot. Still trying to think <laughs> of my love with Jem Arterton. She's very it would, she would just be in parts of the movie. You know what I mean? You have to take the source material and you have to make it your own. Otherwise, it's a mistake. That's what they do. That's what they do with the Marvel movies. They take a comic book storyline and they change it to make it fit. Right. Screen. Right. The screen. The fact that it's a movie has to come first, not a video game. There's not a lot of, like, game to film ones. There's like, really not. I mean, you. Because well, uh, the ones I think of, I'm thinking that yeah, were, were, uh, were comics. Because I was going to say Spider Man, but I was like, wait, no, that's a comic first. I didn't hate Hitman. I love me some Timothy Olyphant. I didn't see it. Not it bad. was okay. It was okay. Olga Kirilenko's in it. She's a honey. <laughs> Tattoo on her face. Living it up. I can't say there's one that I saw that was like, this is a diamond, dynamite song movie. Though, I honestly, as bad as it was, I enjoyed Doom for that like five minute sequence that was first person. That, that was awesome! That was so cool! Except you know what happens in that movie? You know what happens in that five minute FPS sequence? Mm -hmm. um, in that five minute FPS sequence, he goes to town on all of the monsters. Mm -hmm. All these monsters in the facility. Blow, 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 blow. Boom, boom, boom. I got grenades. I'm killing all of them. They couldn't, nobody else in his unit could do that throughout the movie. They're all just haplessly <laughs> destroyed by the tiniest of monsters. But he, he was, was like, he was modified. He was like, the rock is gonna get out. I gotta stop the rock. He was modified though. He also well, had the serum, but it made him super. Okay. He was basically super soldier. Mode. Okay. So he there was, was super there, Saiyan. yeah, super, super Saiyan. He, he was, was super Saiyan. So I don't know. <laughs> I liked Doom. I enjoyed it. That's mine. I'm sorry. There's some, there's some good like movie to game adaptations. That's not what we're talking I don't know. about. I mean, I didn't hate Hitman. I didn't hate Hitman, but hit, but then again, I have low standards for movies. I'm, you know, I'm gonna say my two are. I'm gonna say Doom, and then the first Silent Hill movie was pretty solid. First Silent Hill. I'll say first Silent Hill and Prince of Persia as a concept. I think Prince of Persia, not not the best movie. Prince of Persia took the right approach. Just let's just change it. Very let's just name the guy Dastin. Let's get some Sands of Time stuff. Very entertaining. He's very entertaining. I'm gonna bend the rules because being part on the screen was a part of the question. So I'm gonna say lineage, and I'm gonna say Prince Persia. Yeah, yeah. I'm bending. The I rules. love me some Jake Gyllenhaal, and Jillian Hollock. Dude, he got pretty <laughs> ripped for the movie. I'll give him yeah. that. Yeah, he did. He got ripped in my dreams. <laughs> no, or did you get ripped in your, got, your dreams? He ripped me decent in my dreams. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that that about that about does it. Uh, thank Ladies. you for joining us on our quest and journey of self-discovery and whatnot. Um, tell us what you think the best game to film adaption was, or adaptation, or uh, mutation, or... Is this X-Men? Um, <laughs> has there been a good X-Men game? Anyway, my name is Ryan Shepard. <laughs> I'm Michael Anthony Torres. I'm Hunter Taylor. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, leave us topics for the next safe point. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Catch you later. Your sexiness. Bye, guys.